This weekend, I went to the Tennessee Homesteading Festival. It was a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of amazing people that I watch regularly on YouTube, and that was great. Um, so I'm gonna show you a clip of the things I did. That's, I said, man, America's great. I can't, I miss Scotland, mm -hmm. I do. Today I thought we could go on a garden tour and see how the plants are doing. I've had a little bit of trouble with some herbicidal drift on my tomatoes. I did experience this last year. It's not as bad this year, so I'll show you what that looks like. And I will also tell you what I'm doing to try and mitigate that and help the tomatoes grow out of um, the issues with the herbicidal drift because it can they can grow out of it um, there's a couple of things you got to do to help them flush it out of the system I did it last year later in the year after they had really had some damage done um, and they did start to grow out of it and start producing tomatoes again so I'm hoping that since I'm catching it early enough that um, these plants will just grow out of it sooner quicker and um, I will get a harvest. The garden is growing really great. I'm just so happy with everything. Um, my sunflowers are getting really tall. This is kind of shading my okra, but it doesn't seem to be harming the okra. And actually this okra, I think is my biggest okra plant I have right now. One of my okra plants did die, so I had to replant that. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I dug around in the soil. I'm not sure if it experienced some uh, herbicidal drift and it was just really sensitive to it. This is my calendula. It has a little bud, so it's about to bloom. Well, it'll, it'll bloom in probably a week or two. I have this other okra plant doing really well. My stevia plants have grown substantially. I've already harvested a, li harvested a little bit of stevia off of these. Um, this plant is a squash, summer squash plant, and it's just right now looks like it's all flowers. I don't think there's any fruit on this at all, but this one over here, yay, it has some fruit and I'm so excited. And I think they got pollinated because they look like they're getting bigger. So that's probably going to be the, one of the first things I get to harvest, which is exciting in the summer garden. Now I have harvested some peas. I'll show you a picture of that. And but this these are looking good. I'll probably have more to harvest. I harvested some today and I harvested some the other day. Um, but they are starting to get some disease, show some signs of disease down here. So they probably won't last much longer. This plant I am going to have to pull because it has started to affect my pods. I don't know if you can see the black stuff on there, but it is starting to affect the fruit. So I am going to have to pull these. Oh, here's one that fell. Let's see. So it's just looking yuck. So that's going to have to be pulled. I did plant my pumpkins down here so that I can pull these and start trailing the pumpkins up the um, lattice that I have here. And my radishes that I planted are growing beautifully. Hopefully they start bulbing out soon and I can start using them. These have flowered out nicely so um, soon I will be able to uh, collect seeds from those. Now we'll get so many seeds just from these two plants it will hopefully supply the seeds for all my carrots uh, next year. Um, the lettuce is about done. I'm gonna. I'm about to harvest all of that and get that out of here. Something about lettuce that 
Um, the reason why I put it in here is because this gets a lot of shade because of the carrot stalks that I have here and these peas do shade the carrots substantially, but when I pull the peas out, I'm probably going to need to pull out all the lettuce as well. It's getting just a little hint of being bitter, but um, it's not bad. It's still edible. It's still good. My cucumbers are finally starting to grow. I have little flowers on there. I might pick those off so they focus a little more on just growing and getting taller. Um, this is the okra that I had to replant. It just wilted and keeled over. I'm not sure what happened. I dug down to see if I could find any grubs. I didn't find any, so I'm wondering if the herbal cidal drift got to that okra plant as well and just killed it off. I'm not sure. Um, this little zucchini plant is doing okay. It has gotten a little bigger, but not much. So I'm not really sure what the deal is. I may have to just replant a zucchini plant here. They grow so fast that that's not that big of a deal to have to do that. Um, I have had questions about the forks in my soil. So those are there because I have a cat and it has worked wonderfully to keep the cat out of the dirt. Last year I had all kinds of issues with him trying to climb in the dirt and use it as his litter box. So now here's another zucchini plant. Still just a lot of flowers. I cut off all these bottom stems so this plant was huge. Let's see it's got some issues with it too so I may, I may have to replant this one as well. I'm not sure. I'm really just not not sure what's going on with that. Here's a candy cane zinnia which is doing beautifully it just uh, flowered today I have another one over here that looks beautiful but it's a little droopy and this one is just a regular zinnia that I bought from the store I did not plant these ones from seeds and my calendula is just about to flower which is really exciting I can't wait to get some uh, calendula flowers off of that so that I can make um, some calendula oil. My mustard is doing really well, really well. Now I did grow this mustard because I wanted to go to seed. So if you see here, these are the little seed pods. So I will get mustard seed from these that I can then turn around and use in things like um, pickles. Um, I don't have enough space to grow enough mustard seed to make my own mustard which will be a goal eventually. So I'm just letting these go to seed. These two I'm actually keeping to eat off of because I do love, I love mustard greens. So I've been just taking the flowers off of this so that it will grow more leaves and no, um, no mustard. But I've noticed taking the flowers off causes it to grow more flowers. So I kind of wish I'd known that I would have grown, I would have done that with all of these, but since they've already gone to seed, I'm just going to leave them alone and I'll know better next year. The Swiss chard is growing really well. The kale's doing okay. You know, it's not really a hot weather plant. It can grow in hot weather, but it burns a little bit and it is getting bigger. I don't know if you see that. These were, these were really tiny and I'm sure they will grow a lot more. I've been trying to water them a little more. Um, my nasturtium, I think maybe was hit a little bit with the um, herbicidal drift because it's it just, it wasn't like this and then all of a sudden it just kind of started shriveling up. So I've tried to um, fertilize it and stuff and it has looked a little better with the fertilizer, but it just looks sad. So does this one. I did plant some more to see how they do, so we'll see how those go. These are my little my little watermelons. So here's my tomato plants, and they're you know I I pinched off a lot of stuff that um, was starting to curl from the her herbicidal drift. I'm gonna look and see if I can find anything so I can show you what it exactly looks like. Now it's a light. It's not, it wasn't a huge issue, it was a very light issue. If you see this leaf right here, it really shouldn't look like that. This leaf should look more like these, but when you have herbicidal drift, 
your leaves start to look tiny and curled like this one and this one here and the fruit will look like that too it won't look very good um, so I just pinch off most of what I find I'll leave some um, in hopes that it will grow back like this one had to be pinched off substantially now what I will do here is wait for a new stem to grow from in between the arm and the trunk of the of the tomato plant and then it will it will grow and form a new main stem but I had to take that off because it was it was so bad it was curled up pretty bad and not looking good and I really heavily watered my tomato plants to kind of wash the herbicide through the tomatoes and dilute what's going on there so like you can see this is showing some signs of slight and then this is slight herbicidal drift damage I'm trying to see if I can find a better yeah just right here and that's the problem I have living here is we do get a lot of herbicidal drift last year was horrendous I seem to have planted my tomatoes in a better spot this year because it's not so bad. This plant is pretty much untouched. It's just curling because it's a little stressed, but I'm not sure. I don't think that's from the herbicidal drift. Usually the leaves look much smaller. And this plant is really producing well. This has the most tomatoes on it. This is my San Marzano. And I've got lots of fruit on this. It's awesome. I'm so excited about that. And then my little tomato, or my tomatoes, <laughs> my watermelons, and they look a little sad, and I'm just wondering if <clears throat> they're a little bit too um, shaded here. If I can get two to grow up this trellis, eventually they won't be so shaded, and they'll be okay. Um, this one I had to prune down quite a bit. But I also have this other side here that I didn't have to prune the main stem down at all. And I will let this, this little guy here grow into another main stem. So I'll leave this one alone instead of pruning that sucker. Yep, and I'll probably let that sucker grow as well, just so that it's got some, some more growth going on it. So my battery died and now it's raining and it's thundering. So I'm going to see what I can get done um, before it starts really raining. So anyways, I was telling you about the tomatoes and how they had the herbicide uh, drift come in and just kind of cause my leaves to curl a little bit. Um, I think they're going to grow out of it. I'm just watering them extra and I trimmed off the bad leaves that had the herbicide, that had obvious herbicidal issues. Um, so we'll see how that goes and I'll keep you posted on that. Here's my dog, Bailey. Hi. How you doing, honey? You good girl? I know, you don't like the thunder. I'll probably have to bring you inside. My broccoli is really growing, and I think I showed you the mustard. And then um, marigolds. My kale is doing all right. Let's go over here. The watermelon is starting to climb, and it's doing really good. Um, and my, my beans are doing better. I've been fertilizing them. I fertilized them with, uh, what is that called? My brain just lost the words. <laughs> fish emulsion. I, I fertilized them with fish emulsion and I did do Epsom salt, a little bit of Epsom salt next to each plant. The Epsom salt really seemed to start greening up the leaves. If you look here, this started greening up after I did the Epsom salt. So I think it was low in magnesium. It's all just been a guessing game. Um, I'm finding that maybe the soil, I was talking to Natalie from Hayes and Midlife at the Homestead Festival and she was saying that soil has not been being finished at um, commercial um, composters and so she told me to maybe spread some of the fox farm on top of it that I have. So I do have that and I might go in and try and spread that around these plants and see if that helps. 
So it's really starting to rain now, so I think I'm going to go inside. Um, I just did want to show you, look, I have some tomatoes growing. I don't know, these, these fell off. I think they just didn't get pollinated because I don't see any other damage to the plant. But I have a lot of cherry tomatoes growing. Let's see what we got, what I can show you here. So I've got these here. And then I know this had some here. I'm just so excited. This is probably going to be the best harvest. Now these tomato plants did not get damaged by any of the herbicide because I think they're next to this fence and they're far away from the other tomato plants. The other tomato plants are way over there. So this seems to be a good spot in this yard for them. I don't know if we'll be here next year because it is a rental and we are trying to find some land. Hopefully by next year we have some to grow on so that we got some more little tomatoes. Those are the golden nuggets. Um, what were these? Let's see. Oh, I can't read it anymore. Oh, Chadwick cherry. These ones are the Chadwick cherries. And these are, I think, the sweetie tomatoes. And let's see what's over here. Um, these are not golden nuggets. These are golden nuggets. So they're doing really well. So hopefully I have some tomatoes soon to munch on. It's pretty exciting. My carrots are growing beautifully. This is working out really well. It doesn't get a lot of sun because the tomatoes on either side are really shading these carrots and keeping them from bolting, which is fantastic. So I'm really happy with the way these carrots are growing. Um, my Kajari melons are getting bigger. Soon they'll be big enough to uh, attach to the trellis. It looks like I got a little bit of... Yep, okay. Just wipe those off. See, I've got some aphids here. I'm gonna have to wipe those off. Sorry, my dog is panting right here. Um, she likes staying right by my side. Come on, Bailey. Um, and then here are my cantaloupe. I'm feeling like I probably shouldn't have planted the cantaloupe next to the Kajari melons. I think they're probably going to cross-pollinate, which is too bad. I'll probably have to put some blossom covers on a few of them so I can save the seeds and poll hand-pollinate those. I just feel like everything is looking really beautiful. And I showed you my zinnias. They're starting to bloom. I just love zinnias. I think they're so pretty. And I got something the other day. I got this beautiful plant to hang on my shepherd's hook. Um, it's just like a nice little pop of color in the garden. It's in the corner out of the way, but I'm hoping it brings pollinators in. I got it at a cute little Amish store down the road, um, and they had a lot of beautiful potted plants. Um, and I just really liked that one. I thought it was really pretty. I, I went there with my mom the other day. It was a lot of fun. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed our garden tour today. Um, I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.